Review the Schultz, Diane, and Montague study from 1997. Figure 1, and explain how it relates to reinforcement learning and prediction errors. What Schultz and colleagues did was they had monkeys learn a classical conditioning paradigm. So a paradigm in which a cue predicts an outcome. What they found was in the early stages of learning, the reward or the outcome resulted in an increased firing rate of dopamine neurons, something we've already talked about in previous videos. But the cue did not elicit any change in firing rate. Now here the cue is the blue arrow and that's when the tone occurred and the red is the outcome or reward and as we said it elicited an increase or phasic change in firing rate. One thing you'll note here is that there's a tonic or background firing rate of the dopamine system that's quite variable and in this case the reward just resulted in a very brief increase in firing rate. Now what Schultz and colleagues did is they had the monkeys continue to learn the task. So they practiced more and more trials until they were conditioned. And something interesting happened. After the monkeys were conditioned, what they found was that the increase in firing rate at the time of the reward was gone. But instead, there was an increase in firing rate at the time of the cue that predicted the reward. This was really interesting. And that led them to try one final manipulation. What happens if a conditioned monkey has a reward withheld? And here's what they saw. They saw that there was an increase in firing rate at, to the cue that predicted the reward. And there was a decrease in firing rate when the expected reward did not occur. And this can be explained in terms of reinforcement learning. In the first stage of learning, or the top panel, the reward is unexpected, so there's a prediction error. Outcome is greater than expectation. In the second panel, there's a prediction error to the cue because the monkey doesn't know what's coming. So the cue is the outcome, and there's no expectation, so there's a prediction error. However, at the time of the reward, the reward is given, so there's an outcome, but there's an expectation of that reward, so there's no prediction error. Finally, on the bottom panel, you see the prediction error to the Q because, again, the Q is unexpected. And you see a negative prediction error at the time of reward because there's no reward given, but there is an expectation. So zero minus the expectation is a negative prediction error. And this is exactly what reinforcement learning theory would predict.